Breaching a firewall. This will be the last of the lecture portion of module four. Well, there are lots of different ways to breach a firewall, and this is a pretty good sampling of some ways we can do it. One would be to use some remote software, things like AnyDesk or TeamViewer or Go to My PC. These software pieces that you put one on on the uh, target machine and one on a source machine, and now you can uh, directly access that machine. Uh, and the firewall might make an exception for it because of the uh, presence of this software. Certainly portable media can bypass a firewall. If I have a flash drive, for example, and I can take uh, that flash drive, I can take uh, information or malware off of a source machine, plug it directly into the target machine, and the firewall will never see it. Social engineering, if I call up and I say, hi, this is uh, Roger from IT, and I need you to do some things for me here. Could you type this in? And then I, I instruct you to type something that would allow me access into that system. Uh, email uh, and, and worms of other sorts uh, through software. Uh, because it's through this software, it may not uh, recognize that it's the firewall may not recognize it as being malware. And so I can slip it through some means other than the typical uh, web page means. Port scans, a port scanner such as NMAP, which is spelled N-M-A-P, uh, that's one good example, of the most popular port scanner probably, is capable of looking at all the ports on a firewall and seeing which ones are open and which ones are not open. Uh, traffic flooding, by flooding a firewall with traffic, I might be able to create a denial of service attack. Uh, these firewalls we have today are particularly powerful, and because they're powerful, they can be increasingly busy and even more prone to denial of service attacks. Malformed or fragmented packets. Um, I think of, for example, something we call the Christmas tree attack, where we set a bunch of flags on a segment. And by setting those flags, we can monitor and see what kind of return we get from the firewall, how it rejects it and what it sends back to us. And we can get some information about some of the vulnerabilities on the system. Uh, IP spoofing. If I send a packet and I give it a source IP of uh, address of something that's internal to that network rather than external, the firewall might think that it's internal and pass packets that, um, that it should be filtering out. So those are a few of the ways we might be able to breach firewalls today.